Christ is in our midst. Good evening, beloved in Christ, brothers and sisters. Tonight's subject is, what are we waiting for? To those who seek the kingdom of God and his right righteousness, he has promised to give all else besides, since everything indeed belongs to God, who possessed good uh, wants nothing, it for himself is not found venting before God, Saint Cyprian of Carthage. How do we have hope, thought, when we are miserable? Not just miserable like having a fever and body ashes, but miserable like having our homes destroyed and being carried off to exile in Babylon. At the root of all misery is unfilled desire. We want economic prosperity or even just stability. We want relief from bodily pain. We want family members to get along for charge. We want our co-workers and neighbors to treat us with respect. We want to raise our children to be moral and happy adults. These are important things, no doubt. But are they reasonable objects of our hope. Scripture certainly leads to us to believe they are. In the Bible, we find men and women praying for all manner of earthly goods and having God answer their prayers, seemingly on their terms. Why then must we suffer through hard times, in spite of all prayers we are raised for relief. The answer perhaps is in the object of our hope. Are we hoping utterly for earthly happiness or we are hoping in God? True hope seeks only in the kingdom of God and is con conceived that uh, earthly things necessary for this life with without doubt to be given. The heart cannot have peace until it acquires uh, this hope. Saint Seraphim of Sorrow. Just a few years ago, Americans began to pray the biblical prayer of Jabez so they might increase the earthly wealth. However, uh, that is noticed corresponding search that number of millionaires in the city uh, and atheists increase and they will do good as those who do not pray. Catholics, Protestant, Orthodox, however, would be right to say that God uh, uh, sometimes say yes to such prayers, but often says no according to greater need of the person who asks. The greater need is not financial, it's spiritual. It is a need for love that satisfies, and it is always a reasonable object of our hope. God sometimes gives us what we want even money, so we will learn to trust Him to give us what we need. When He answers prayers in earthly terms, those who are not, those are not final answers, as the earthly objects can not satisfy us for long. The earthly gifts do not bring happiness the way love does. That is the lesson we can learn by looking around us. 
there is no shortage of miserable uh, millionaires, miserable people who have been perfect bodily health, miserable people who have steady, well-praying jobs. Uh, God sometimes gives us what we want, but so we will learn to trust Him and give us what we need. Sometimes we need to learn these lessons by personal experience of misery and earthly success. Sometimes we learn our lessons by personal experience of failing to achieve our modest earthly goals in spite of the ardent prayers. God can answer all the prayers because He is all-powerful Creator. He answered them the way He does because He is our Father. Our greatest need for love that satisfied only God can satisfy us. So, uh, what are we waiting for? Let us ask God for everything we need. He's our Father and He will answer us. May God bless you. Amen.